our viewers. I was given this clock, the Singamo, time switch a while ago. Um, it's a quartz version, and the type is Q5552 and 11. And it didn't work, of course. Well, by opening the clock, we reveal um, there's a bit of corrosion in there. Hope you can all pick it up. And the circuit board has a bit of corrosion. I'll zoom into it a bit. There's a bit of corrosion here on the tracks, and of course the fav famous batteries, which always die on these things. So I'm just going to replace this with a capacitor or something. The clock has four terminals, um, two go in into the motor phase neutral and to the switch phase in and uh, switch out. The clock is rated at 20 ampere. Close investigation after cleaning means uh, reveals that the tracks have partially disintegrated and discarded away. Um, I will try to redo those and um, that's the little battery, positive, the other side is negative, it's stuffed, I'll maybe pop that at some stage. It's about half an hour's work and the clock is working, um, I fitted a blue LED in it with pulses on the rhythm of the one second pulses of the crystal oscillator. I overlaid the damaged tracks with some uh, copper wire which I used out of a bit of that old category 5 wire, that blue cut-up wire. It's nice solid wire and it's just perfect for fixing uh, broken circuit boards. Then um, turn it around. I fitted a 3300 microfarad capacitor instead of the battery which acts like a buffer. And uh, across the positive and the negative, I fitted the LED which sits here, sits on an angle. I have to glue it into place, and uh, that will be the pulse. Oops, oops, gives me the one second indication. Uh, a red LED could be fitted, of course, too. I fitted a few colored marks on the gear wheels, and you can see the actual escapement wheels um, going, driven by the quartz motor. I will do a duration test and I'll give the feedback uh, regarding its accuracy. Thanks for watching for now. Hi viewers, this is 24 hours later. The clock has been running fine, although it lost a little bit of time. So I think I need to re-change uh, just a 10pf variable capacitor. Basically the circuit I did um, here is quite simple. Old battery. Replaced with a capacitor in LED in parallel. In this case, it's a blue LED with a 3 volt stop. Ideally, you should use a red one, which gives 1.7 volt stop, which is more accurate. This meter will feature in the next video.